Hello, I'm Bart Beecraft. I'm the Arboretum Director here at the Community Arboretum at Virginia Western Community College and also the Program Head for Horticulture here at the college. Today we're going to talk about cultivating tools that you would use in the garden. We'll start off with our hand tools. And many of you may recognize this as a hand trowel. This tool can be used for working loose soil in the garden and also transplanting seedlings and tomato plants, pepper plants into an existing garden space. This tool here is for small seedlings. As you can see, it has a narrow spade to it and it's easy, easy to use to create holes for small seedlings. Hand trowels come in different shapes and sizes. This particular one is made out of a metal alloy, so it's lightweight, but it also has an ergonomic handle which makes it easy to use in the garden. Other cultivating tools that we use would include the round point shovel, and it gets its name from the shape of the spade part of the shovel. This is used for breaking hard soil and also digging holes for trees and shrubs. It can also be used to clean out your soil in the hole after digging it to make room for your new plant. This is a straight edge spade and it's used for cultivating hard soil and also making larger holes for trees and shrubs that you would put in the garden. It could also be used in the vegetable garden to create rows. And the thing I like about this spade is that it cuts into heavy compacted soil and it's easy to use. I like wooden handles on my tools because of the feel and it just gives a little bit as you're using the tool. A tool that we use in the garden space, vegetable gardening and flower gardening, is this fork with the tines on it. And this will be a cultivating fork or a garden spade. And it's used to break up uh, soil clods or also to turn relatively loose soil in the garden to prepare it for planting. One of my favorite tools is the mattock. And as you can see, this has a large head on it, one end that can be used for hoeing and breaking up soil, and the other end for breaking roots and pulling rocks out of the soil. Again, this tool would be used to break up hard soil and make new planting holes for trees or shrubs. And it's used by lifting it over your head and using the weight of the head to break up the soil surface. Then we go into our hose that we use in the garden. This particular tool is called a Warren hoe. You can see its triangle shaped head. This is used in the garden to cultivate weeds or pull up weeds between plants that are close together or rows in the garden that are close together. Not used much for digging, but for using bet between plants as they are established in the garden. You may recognize this tool. It's a garden hoe. And this is used to maintain aisles in the garden and also to pull up weeds and loosen weeds between plants so they're further apart. Other tools we use in the garden, what I consider finishing tools, is the garden rake, or also called hard rake. And that's because this these tines are made of steel and you can use this to pull mounds of soil to level your soil after tilling and cultivating and also to create owls and planting spaces within your garden space. And another common tool we use in the garden is what's known as your spring rake or leaf rake. It's called a spring rake because of this element right here, it's a spring that actually allows the rake to move back and forth when it's used. 
in the garden or in the turf areas. And this is typically used to remove leaves from the garden. And that concludes our session on cultivating tools for the garden. We invite you to join us at the Arboretum here at Virginia Western Community College.